Dear students, there are a few questions bubbling in the head of every net aspirant who is trying to prepare and give their best in the last few days of net exam. A lot of students are worried and they are really tensed about how they should prepare. Is it the right way in which they are preparing? What were the mistakes that they did last time due to which they were not able to qualify this exam? And how should they channelize their last few days so that they can prepare even if they have not made any pre previous preparation. If all these questions are going in your head as well, then you are at the right video because in this video, I'm going to line up all the do's and don'ts that you should follow if you are preparing for UGC net and the tips that I'm going to give is going to be relevant for paper one and paper two both. Now it is important here for you to note that all these tips I'm giving, they are actually tested. I have applied them during my net preparation and I qualified net in first attempt. In this video, I'm going to show you my notes and how I prepared my notes in last few days, which helped me clear net. So if you are really looking forward to follow a strategy or write path which can actually help you qualify net then this is the video for you and do watch it till the end if you're ready to do the incredible then take a, a pen and paper and start jotting down the most important points i'm going to mention right here i have seen a lot of students who are always looking forward for good books they are always asking people which book they should buy which can help them qualify net guys i can tell you very clearly here there's no one book which can make you qualify net if that would have been the case then everyone would have got that book and have cleared net why net is so difficult to achieve because you need to use your mind along with good books every book is good and bad at the same time if you don't use your brain, then that book can be a bad book for you because that book will not help you achieve net. Don't go after books. Go after what your brain says. Go after smart work. This is the time when you don't need to refer to any one book. This is the time when you make, need to make handy notes, like one page notes for each topic. I'm going to show you my notes for paper one. These are my notes for paper one. And if you look very clearly, you will find that for each topic, Topic. I just made one page notes. I referred to a few books and then I just made one page notes. And if you go through this entire copy, you will find out that my notes have a proper format. I keep on highlighting the mistakes that I was making. I kept on highlighting the most important point which I saw in the previous year papers. So these is this is the right way to make notes it's not just going through the books again and again your brain would not be able to absorb the facts so easily you need to give him little material and that little material should be very clear so don't go after books go after a smart strategy which can actually help you qualify net and that smart strategy is to make handy reference notes a note paper should not exceed more than one page for per topic. So for example, suppose you're making notes on tools of research, which is a paper one topic. If you look at my notes, I have clearly mentioned few important things and that's it. I did not go beyond it. I did not like uh, write paragraphs. I just write quick pointers which can help me remember the correct fact on the day of the net exam. A lot of students question me, how many hours should we study in last 20 days to clear net? Now, this is a really, really bad question because see, there's no particular hours that I can tell you which can help you qualify net. It's not how many hours, it's about what you do in those hours that can determine whether you've cleared net or you do not clear net. I have seen a lot of students who sit for like 16 hours and then don't clear net and I've seen those smart students who sit for not more than six hours and they clear and achieve their targets. How is this possible? It is possible because because the students who are sitting for six hours, they know how to manage time. They know how our brain works. 
okay if you want to bake a cake you need to know the procedure right if you don't know the procedure you cannot bake a cake in a right manner similarly if you want to qualify it if you want to feed data in your brain you need to know what is the mechanism of the brain and it's very simple our brain's attention span is 50 minutes so only for 50 minutes our brain can concentrate on the work and then beyond that time if you keep on working if you keep on studying our brain does not retain anything so after after every 50 minutes, make it a point that you give yourself a 5 minute break. Be it going to washroom, just stretching or talking to a friend on phone for 5 minutes. Just distract yourself so that you can come back and again attract your brain to study that topic. So managing time is very important. It's not how much uh, hours you are studying. It's about what you're doing in those hours. And that is how you can qualify in it. So if you are ready to give your best in this exam, then I'm telling you best is going to come back to you. Only the thing that you need to remember is that the time that you are studying, make sure that is the time when you're concentrating. It's not just that you're sitting with a book and nothing is going inside you. After every 50 minutes, check how much you've retained. Is it that you were wasting time, you've read so many pages and you still don't remember anything? Or have you worked smartly? You've highlighted things, you have marked pointers, you've remembered those pointers and now after 50 minutes you exactly know what you've done in 50 minutes. Don't waste time, work smartly. Even with six hours of preparation, you can qualify net only when you know the right way to work. The third and the most important thing that is going to help you in the next few days of your preparation is solving previous year papers. Mere se aaj bhi jab students phone karke poochte hain ki maam paper one ke liye kya kare is last time mein. I always tell them the same thing. Sirf previous year papers ko refer karo. Unhe solve karo. Apni galtiyon ko evaluate karo. Aur un mistakes ko correct karo. Because if you see all the previous year papers of paper one specifically, you will see that concept is repeating year after year. Questions are not going to repeat but at least the concept is repeating and if you have understood the concept, you know the method to solve that question, then you can, I can give you any question in the same concept and you will solve it. So it's as simple as that. Previous year papers to solve karne se, you become familiar to the paper pattern, you become familiar to those mistakes that you're making. There are times when students make silly mistakes on the day of the exam because they've not solved previous year papers. Agar wahi galtiya wo previous year papers ko solve karte wa kar dete, tab wo galtiyo ko wo correct kar sakte the aur baad mein, wo exam mein wo galtiya wapis nahi dhoraate. Also, there are questions uh, students ask me that up to paper pattern change ho gaya, syllabus change ho gaya, ab bhi kya previous year papers relevant hai? Yes, of course, 110% relevant hai. Because if you look at paper 1, paper 1 ka purana syllabus vahi ka vahi hai, 10% new topics, logical reasoning or mathematical reasoning mein add hoi hai. That's it, purane topics delete nahi hoi hai. So previous year papers ko agar aap prefer karte hai, to at least 90% topics ki preparation aapki aram se ho sakti hai without using any book. And also understand the fact, sirf solve nahi karna hai, evaluate karna hai. Dekhna hai ki galtiya kaha ho rahi hai. You have to study your mistakes. I have seen students jo sirf solve kar dete hai, apni galtiyo ko nahi dekhte. Solve karne se kya hoga? Agar aapne 50 mein se 30 marks le aaye, to hoga kya? Ye jo 20 marks aapke lose hoye hai, in galtiyo ko wapis unko sikhi hai. Dekhi kaha galtiya ho rahi hai, jisse next time aapke 50 mein se 50 aaye, 50 mein se 30 na aaye. Also understand the fact, कि अगर आप प्रीवियस ईयर पेपर सॉल्व कर रहे हैं और हर पेपर सॉल्व करने के बाद इवैल्यूएट कर रहे हैं तो उन करेक्टेड चीजों को अपने ध्यान में रखिए और उनको अप्लाई करिए नेक्स्ट पेपर में सो दैट यू नो दैट ओके आई एम मेकिंग प्रोग्रेस इफ यू फॉलो द सेम स्टडी पैटर्न यू आर गोइंग टू गेट द सेम रिजल्ट आपने एक टॉपिक पढ़ा क्वेश्चन सॉल्व करें गलत हुए अब आप वापस से वैसे ही वो टॉपिक पढ़ते हैं फिर क्वेश्चन सॉल्व करते हैं फिर गलत होते हैं ये तो एक एंडलेस चेन है जो होती रहेगी व्हाट इज इंपॉर्टेंट इज दैट you see the pattern, then you see the result. If the result is not appropriate, then change your pattern to change the result. Same pattern, same result. Change pattern, new result. It's very simple. So, don't crib when you get low score in your previous year papers, in your mock test, because it's okay to get low score. Low score karna galti nahi hai. Galti tab karte hai. 
आप जब लो स्कोर करने के बावजूद आप मेहनत नहीं करते इफ यू डोंट वर्क ऑन योर मिस्टेक्स so that you can get a better score next time that is where you're lacking behind and always remember if winter comes can spring be far behind agar aaj aapka low score ho raha hai aur aap mehnat kar rahe hain to kya kal bhi wahi low score hoga bilkul nahi kal aapka bahut acha score banega agar aap un galtiyon pe kaam karke unhe dohrate nahi hain so i wish you all the very best for the next 10 days and most of all i wish you a very very peaceful state of mind i wish you a state of mind jisme आप बहुत अच्छे से प्रिपरेशन कर पाए आप अपने आप को एक स्टेबल एनवायरनमेंट में रख पाए एंड आई विश यू दैट दिस टाइम यू विल क्वालिफाई नेट एग्जाम गिव योर बेस्ट शॉट एंड आई एम प्रिटी श्योर सक्सेस इज गोइंग टू बी ऑन योर साइड ऑल्सो डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल बिकॉज वी आर पोस्टिंग सम अमेजिंग वीडियोस ऑन पेपर वन प्रिपरेशन ऑन दिस चैनल एंड वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू टू पोस्ट दीज वीडियोज फॉर द नेक्स्ट फ्यू वीक्स ऑल्सो आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू इफ यू नॉट येट सब्सक्राइब दस ऑन द सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म आई थिंक इट्स टाइम टू डू इट बिकॉज इट्स फ्री एंड यू विल गेट ऑल द लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स अबाउट नेट वेन इज द एडमिट कार्ड रिलीजिंग एंड वेन इज द exam happening and what happened on the first day of the exam how was the paper pattern all these updates would be given to you on all my social media platforms apart from that you can visit my website arpitakarwa.com to get all the previous year solved papers so that you don't need to go anywhere else you will get everything under one website so that's it for this video lecture we'll meet soon very soon in the next video lecture would till the time we meet next happy learning keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarwa.com